Hi guys, I'm back with another YouTube video and a new backdrop. I should have pressed this, but anyways. So, in this video, we're gonna do an embroidery on a t-shirt and on a jeans. It's gonna be fun. I'm also doing it for the first time. I saw this picture on Instagram. It was super amazing. And instead of buying it, I thought, let's try it. Let's do it by our own. At least let's try. I don't know how to do it, but let's try. Also, thank you so much for the response on the previous video. I didn't expect it. I did a little bit, but thank you so much. We are going to do a spider on a t-shirt and a bee on a jeans. So let's start. So, for t-shirt, we need a needle, then an embroidery thread, a ruler, and a scissor. That's it, that's all we're gonna need. Embroidery thread is basically a thread with six strands. So we'll take only three strands and then we'll needle it. It will become six again and our design look more detailed. First we'll measure where we wanted the spider. I'm doing it in the back from top. Put some newspaper or a book underneath because we don't want to stitch the front part of the t-shirt. So we'll draw a spider. I referred a picture from Google. If you want, you can use mine. I'll insert it at the end of the video. So for the straight line, we'll do a back stitch. If you don't know what back stitch is, just watch what I'm doing, you'll get it. After doing the line, just knot it from the back to secure it. It's a simple stitching method, nobody wants to know that. Because we want the spider to look more detailed, we'll take only two strands and when we'll needle it, it will become four. On the spider's body, we'll stitch a hashtag shape for a little bump. Then we'll do a sleeping lines to cover the whole body. Then we'll use the same method, same sleeping lines on the face, on the head of the spider. Then, here comes the most difficult part, the legs. I've tried one time, didn't work. I tried second time, didn't work. Then I did a back stitch on the legs too, and it works. It finally works.
guys, we are finally done with our spider. Then we'll start with our jeans. For jeans, we'll need a needle, a yellow and a white embroidery thread, and a black also, and a ruler and a scissor. Same as we did for t-shirt, newspaper underneath, but here, yeah, watch your pockets too. So we'll draw a dotted line in, I don't know what to call this shape, in a wind shape maybe. Then we'll draw a B as simple as we can. Then we'll take a black thread and do a running stitch on a dotted line. Then we'll take only one strand for B's body. B is little difficult than a spider. Not difficult but a little confusing. Then we'll divide a B in four part and we'll do the one fourth part with a standing line with a black thread. Then we'll do a second line with the black thread. Basically what are we going to do here is yellow, black, yellow and black. Then we'll take a yellow thread and do the same in first and third line. Then we give a border to a bee with a black thread. Then we'll stitch a standing lines for the head of the bee with a black thread. Then we'll stitch our bees antennas with a single stitch. Then for wings we'll take a white thread. Then for the wings border we'll do a middle stitch. Just watch how I'm doing. Then to fill the wings, we'll do a dot stitch in the middle. 
then we'll do a little little eyes of beef and we are done So we are done and I love how it turned out. It looks super cool. It looks super amazing. You guys should try to. I am proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. So thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share as much as you can and comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye. See you soon. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm back. Am I screaming louder? Hi guys. <laughs> Hi. Hi guys, I'm back with new YouTube video. My voice is like... I am sweating. I am sweating. We only do a spy. Jeans. Ouch. Please do like, share. Please do like, share. Do like if you come. Do comment if you like it. So, and this... And instead of buying it, I said... I thought,